is one of our very interesting lectures which teaches us about function pointers and it's very important to understand this because it opens the gateway for callback functions so here what we learn so here we learn about type diff function pointers and how to use them what we do is that let's say we have a scenario where we can call a function and which has the same declaration that it returns the same variable type it takes the same arguments and same number of arguments and same type of arguments then in that case we can make a function pointer that can point to all such functions and whenever we are trying to pass so we'll just make the function pointer equal to whatever function we like to call and then we will call that function so this saves a lot of coding space and let's see with this example so we try to see this code so what happens we have four functions float plus float a float b it returns a plus b so i pass two arguments in float a and float b and it returns the sum as a float then minus which returns a minus b which is again a float multiply multiplies the two numbers and divide which divides those two numbers so what happens now is so and we define float bracket star fptr float float so this is a kind of defining the function pointer so now fptr is a pointer to a function which takes two arguments both of them as float type and which returns a float type so this fptr can be pointer to all these functions as they take float a and float b all of them take two floats as argument and returns a float so now what happens is that and here again i define a different function pointer directly not using any type diff so ptr to function is a pointer to function of type which takes float two floats as argument and returns a float so i make it fptr i define a new function pointer and make it equal to null so here i use the standard definition here i use the type def definition so now pointer to function so plus is one of such functions and i make pointer to function point to this one so now this function pointer is pointing to a function plus so i say print a plus b i call this pointer to function i pass those two arguments now this function can act as all of the others like plus minus multiply divide and any such function which take two floats and returns a float so now i have passed this pointer to function with two arguments a and b and it will now do the operation based on whatever function i assign that function pointer to so this does the plus for me if it is minus i assign it to minus function now i call pointer to function with a b so it returns me the difference between them now i make fp a uh, function pointer equal to multiply i plus fb with a and b and it returns me the product and finally fp i make it equal to the memory location of divide function and it when i pass it it prints the division of these two so let's run it so now we see a is 6 b is 2 and we see pointer to function it's float type it's returning and float and float arguments it's taking so pointer to function is fp is also null both are null now so now what happens is that after this so pointer to function so let's so what happened is that now let's see the output 
so a plus b is 8 so after calling the first one it returns the addition of them next pointer to function now is minus minus so which is shown here now what happens is that then let's go inside this function so it goes into minus and comes back so it prints the difference between them which is 4 and then I make fp is equal to multiply call the function fp and now I see so the multiplication is 12 I call the function again with divide function and it prints for me 3 so this is the use of function pointer it's also called the callback function and it's quite useful and handy in many of the kernel programming and callback functions where we don't know what which function we are going to use so we pass the function pointer is passed in as an argument to the function itself and then we pass which type it is so this is a very good example we saw so we will just try to